What's going on guys, it's your boy ATF Cobra and today I got some uh, Modern Warfare 3 uh, tips for you guys. Uh, playing Demolition, uh, I forgot what this map is called. It's one of those maps that you kind of um, <laughs> kind of can get like, extremely mad about, extremely pissed about. But yeah, anyways, here are the tips for Demolition. Everybody knows that uh, in Demolition there's a lot of spawn trapping and you can do a lot of spawn trapping. Um, in order to win and it's actually a good way to win but it's not not a fun uh, a game for either both sides you know because spawn trapping might be fun for you but at, at the same time it, it doesn't feel like it's a challenge I want a challenge I want somebody to actually uh, you know try to actually win and these guys weren't doing no part of that but we didn't have to spawn cap them to actually win or not spawn camp I mean spawn trap which is basically the same damn thing I mean I hate seeing it I mean all the tips on uh, YouTube that I watch mostly are about how to spawn trap uh, when you're playing demolition and what that mean that you know actually does with the uh, other team is it makes them want to quit a lot. That means you're gonna have to find another party, or another uh, you know full game or another full room full of players who aren't willing to quit because you're stomping them. I mean, you know, if you want to win a game, win it like correctly. It's actually I don't think they were meant or spawn trapping was meant to actually take place in Call of Duty because of the fact that um, nobody likes getting killed over and over again and if you do good for you and you're probably a star uh, star Call of Duty player winning all your games and never quitting and yeah okay whatever but um yeah nobody likes losing nobody likes getting their face slammed in or you know any of that they don't like any of that so basically the fairest way to actually win is to actually move around the map and hold down sections of the map and keep your uh, you know enemies pinned and uh, that's the best way to actually win it because that what it does it, it lets them know that they actually have a chance when they might not have a chance of actually uh, pushing through and what that means is basically you're giving your uh, enemies a chance to actually um, you know pull up some type of defense or try to actually win and uh, there and all brings a fair fight and to me that's what I'm all about I'm all about fair fights fair gunfights fair play and uh, you know that's the way it's fun for everybody because um, you know if you do lose you're like hey at least I tried I did get in there and I was able to try a couple times to get to the bomb or plant the bomb or defuse the bomb and uh, you know so you know that's how everybody has fun because if you're spawn trapping or if you're getting you know killed over and over again um, nine out of ten times you're gonna want to quit so yeah if you guys are playing with full parties and you're actually stomping the other team try to lay back a little bit try to I'm not saying let them plant a bomb but just pull back a little bit don't try to um, you know sit there and actually spawn camp um, as much as possible just try to you know help them out but yeah if you guys are on the opposite uh, side of actually um, you know being spawn trapped what you guys need to realize is that um, you need to make pushes that means slowly advancing getting one kill then another kill and getting out of your spawn so you can help your teammates out and it doesn't mean quitting games and uh, you know going on to the next game because you're you know, dropping your win loss you're showing that you're not a real good player to stay with and you know chances are you're not gonna find a uh, you know full game when you do quit games what you find out actually is you're gonna be put into another game where it might be the same thing where they're losing and they're being dominated and there's nothing you can do or you're gonna get put into a game where they're already lost and it's 10 seconds left so yeah your best bet is if you're in a full game just stay in there and try to get things done but yeah and um you know playing demolition what you guys want to actually do as well use a headset it's a must i mean in all my videos um my first tips for you guys are always to use a headset because it gives you that sound advantage and you need that sound advantage because it's like another sense it's having another sense in the game that actually helps you win and i knew that guy was up there not because my teammates were shooting at him but because there's always somebody there i try to figure out where people like to stay the most in the games and uh, that will actually help you guys win a lot but yeah, I hope you guys didn't hear my brother screaming. But um, yeah, everybody's here in the house, and it's a full house. Um, uh, mostly guys. Yeah, sausage fest. <laughs> but um, yeah, let's uh, get back to these tips right here. And uh, the other tips for you guys is to actually um, when you do notice that nobody's uh, really 
you know coming up on you or there aren't too any enemies in the area what that means is they've uh, been pushed back far enough so you could actually push up and uh, try to spawn uh, trap them if you want if you want to win the game and uh, you know if you're playing against I would suggest only spawn trapping if you're playing against decent players if you're playing with players that are actually you know pretty good that are going to actually give you a run for your money that's the only reason that's the only time you're gonna want to do it because most of the time they're gonna want to stay in the game but if you're playing against bad players and you're spawn trapping them that's not gonna work and uh, the way to spawn trap is to actually, uh, you know, get them in one position of the map, see where they're spawning, and make sure that you don't go past, uh, you know, the area where you think they might, uh, you know, spawn around. Don't go pushing into their spawn, and uh, keep back and try to stay focused as well, because uh, everybody gets greedy for kills. Once you get enough kills and you're spawn trapping, then you want to rush in there and get as many kills as you want. That's not what you want to do if you want to win games. You got to be patient. You gotta be that smart player who plays around the objectives as well, and that's how you win these games like we did right here. We had just about every <laughs> air support out, um, you know. So yeah, and we definitely, uh, you know, kind of beat these guys. And I didn't think they were too bad. They just didn't, you know, use a lot of common sense, and that was their problem. But yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video, and uh, hopefully you're not hearing the background noise that's going on. And uh, you know, if you guys need uh, tips for any other game modes, I'm doing my search and destroy. Uh, pretty soon might not be in my next series, but I'm doing it pretty soon because search and destroy is a hard game I want to make sure I get you guys the right tips in the right um, time peace